What's up my peeps, David here. And today we're talking about this craziness, right? I have shaved my head bald and I'm not turning back. Why did I do this? What's been the impact on me? Has it been a good thing, a bad thing? And you know, hopefully tying it into helping you tie it into something in your life, whether it's something like this, <laughs> as a person that's gonna do this, or maybe making some kind of substantial change in your life. Some recent videos have been about some of this stuff, even though it's been a little while, and so here's a, another angle on it. And by the way, welcome if you're new to Coach David channel here, and welcome back if you've been a subscriber for days, months, weeks, years, whatever. Good to see you, or rather, good to imagine seeing you on the other side of the camera. It's good to have you, always, always, always. So, so about two months ago, let's just get into it, I shaved my head bald. Now, over the pandemic, I actually had started cutting my own hair, right? Uh, I got my own shaver kit and learned how to cut my hair on my own. And so even, you know, any previous videos that you saw in the last year or so was my own haircut. Not too bad, eh? Well, you know, luckily you're only seeing the front of my hair too and I can do camera tricks and stuff to hide it. <laughs> but, but, but it actually turned out pretty okay and saved a bunch of money. You know, at first lockdown, nobody could go anywhere. So a lot of us resorted to the self haircut thing. And if you're a dude who had shorter hair, you, you know, it, some dudes just let it grow out and, and didn't, you know, do anything <laughs> like for a long time. Uh, but I'm not like that. I like to keep things together and sharp. So I was like, let's get resourceful and I figure out how to do that. You know, over the years, let's say this, you may or may not know this. If you're a guy, you know this. If you're a woman, you may or may not. How extremely scared guys are of losing their hair. Like there are forums and subs, you know, Reddit, whatever, Discord. I haven't been on Discord, but on Reddit. Uh, there's one called Tressless, which is all about how to keep your hair. And then there's one called Bald. <laughs> And I can tell you that there's a huge difference between the vibe of the subs. We'll get into that in a bit. You know, I've been thinking about this for a while. And honestly, I am in my 40s now. But since I was 21, younger? No, 21, I started freaking out about losing my hair. Okay. So for two decades, I've been worried about this, right? And especially in this day and age, for guys, you know, there's more of a focus on physical appearance than ever. And I know how much anxiety you probably have if you've been dealing with this. You know, I've gotten good feedback, right? That, hey, you have a good shaped head and all this. But my opinion on, on this whole going bald thing is that it doesn't matter. It looks good no matter what. If it's the right choice for you and it looks better than patchy hair <laughs> and balding hair and stuff, right? And so I even had a friend say, hey, looks good, but why did you do it? I didn't notice that you were losing any hair. I'm like, yeah, well, kind of become a master at styling it certain ways and all that. And, you know, if you have thinning hair, which I did for years, but I learned how to style it and blah, blah, blah. You would do like, if a guy had a full head of hair, he, he wouldn't be so worried about putting a hat on and taking it off. Yeah, it might be a bit messy, but if you're losing hair and you're styling a certain way, you know that you either choose to like wear a hat or not. There is no in between, because if you wear your hat, you can't style your hair the way you want to. Like, well, let's say if you were very self-conscious like I was, right? Kind of vain <laughs> self and self-conscious about this, which a lot of guys are. I got to a point where I was like, I'm tired of the anxiety. I'm tired of the worry. I'm tired of all the attention on if I step out and I got my hair right and it gets too windy, is that gonna kind of mess the overall style and I keep fixing it? I guess self-conscious like that, but I also like to have my appearance be reasonably together. Obviously, I'm no fashion icon or anything, but I don't tend to look messy or look like things aren't together, even, even if I'm falling apart inside one day, you know? Seriously, it's part of my Enneagram type, Enneagram 3, which I did another video on. I'll, I can link or link it below the video, whatever, you can search it. But anyway, one day I finally just did it. I already had my clippers. I'd be giving myself a self haircut the whole pandemic. And all I need to do is just right easier. And the first day I did it, I was like, wow. And I think it was up in my dad's house. And he was like, wow, you look like you just got out of the military. Like I did when I was in, you know, Vietnam and blah, blah, blah. Because he's a veteran. And I was like, it was like, whoa, cool, weird. And then the next day I got super depressed because I woke up, you know, there's a mirror in my room that, that, just, you know, you hit and I was like, oh man, what did I do? What did I do? 
that was an interesting day. And for the whole day, it's kind of down and like, oh my gosh, it's a big change and whatever. But then the day after that, things just started to get lighter and I haven't looked back since. And I've had, I've gotten, again, good feedback. And there's a sub on Reddit called, uh, you know, subreddit bald, r slash bald, right? If you're, I'm a, I'm a huge, I'm on Reddit way too much. <laughs> I love Reddit. And there's one called r slash tressless, which is for people trying to retain their hair. And you will see <laughs> that the people in our bald are much more calm, there's no anxiety other than a little bit of the guys who are saying, hey, what do you think? I just shaved my head or I want to shave my head. And we all just go, shave that, right? Versus trustless and no judgment because I was on hair forums and stuff for years. But it's nuts because you're like, oh, am I going to use Propecia, Rogaine? Am I going to get a hair transplant? Am I going to use a hair system? Am I going to use natural stuff? Like, what should I do? And oh, I'm going to do massage. Not only all the, all the stuff you got to do, but all the anxiety around it. And look, there are now technologies where you can absolutely um, save your hair or those hair systems. Oh my God, they look amazing. There's so, so many Hollywood celebrities and athletes and stuff that have fake hair. They look better than the transplants and the hair systems are amazing. It's like gluing this thing to your head. It's what used to be called a toupee, but it's a hair system. They're incredible. I gotta tell you that the freedom I have from this, I have one choice. I have a choice, I guess I have two choices. I could grow it back out and it's continuing thin. I could probably kind of get it back to how it was or I can continue to shave it. But once I've shaved it, I have no choice. I don't have to worry about how it's gonna look in the wind. I know it's gonna consistently look this one way. And I'm, I'm actually a big fan of reducing choices. There's something called decision fatigue, which is very real in the world of business and for entrepreneurs. It's the reason why Steve Jobs, towards the end of his life and career, only wore a black turtleneck so he could save his brain powers, cognitive functioning to make more important choices, right? That's why Zuckerberg, love him or hate him, right? Much more hated than job. Always wear a sweatshirt and jeans or a plain shirt because it does take a lot of fatigue. I guess it would be cool to get that level. I don't do that with clothes. It's just, it's taken a load off. And surprisingly, going out in public and stuff is great. This is normal now. And whether you're a guy or a girl, by the way, I encourage you ladies to do it if you're suffering from any kind of baldness issues. And if you're a guy, I highly recommend it. If you want to keep your hair cool too and do, there's like four hymns and you know, those things, which are pretty affordable. Like didn't used to be affordable for stuff. And I've had friends that use the Propecia medication and some say it's not bad. I have friends that lost their sex drive and then they had to like take the other pill to, to get excited to have sex with their wife and just stuff that you wouldn't believe that like can happen with the medications, not to freak you out if you're doing it, but you should know. But again, like this change has been quite freeing right? It's way less of a big deal than you think it is. Yeah, it'll be a bit of a shocker to your friends, but honestly, it was far less of a shocker to my friends and family than I thought I would be. Like there were, there was no real whoa, except for my father. And then I had another friend who said, you know what? This is like the second or third time I've seen you. It seems like it's always been this way with you. Now, part of that might be that I'm just not that concerned about it. So over the stressing and all that other stuff, it's been amazing. It really has been amazing, truthfully. Like I'm really acknowledging that now. Okay, so I wanna get really specific into why did I do this at this time? Uh, because this is something I've been thinking about for a long time, many guys have, that are going through hair loss in, in this case. And you know, there's always that fear, will it look good, whatever? What will it be like? And honestly, I, have to thank the bald sub on Reddit for seeing so many pictures of guys that were just doing it, doing it, doing it. There are a couple of YouTube channels where I saw about, you know, bald guys shaving the head and then, you know, maintaining it. Sometimes they talk about nice creams and all that stuff, right? Beautifying <laughs> your baldness or whatever. But really it was people going, you know, and a lot of very young guys too, sometimes 19. Right, so you might be watching this channel. I have a wide range of viewers. I know I have a number of younger viewers as well in their 20s, even younger, but you know, all the way up in your 40s, whatever, 50s, 70s I've had, right? People reach out. Having that, seeing that community and seeing, hey, these other people are doing it, saying F it, and also going, saying, wow, I feel so much better. I feel so free. Some people say, you know, ooh, I don't know if I quite like it or I'm really nervous about this. Then they get encouragement and that's why community is huge or being in a place where you can see others that are doing what you want to do going through the process or have done it right it's part of why this channel exists somebody who's been through the things i've been through especially in terms of social and communication abilities presence things like that having more confidence in one's self in social situations and situations where you're going to be in front of people speaking even showing you that hey i've done this or help people do that and right forums and communities and subreddits discord groups right uh, are all really important to supporting you through the change that you want to become. I was thinking about this just before I recorded this video going, yeah, there was a process of pretty settled with a 
consulting gig I was doing and really enjoying life and seeing friends and whatnot. And I was feeling pretty good and I just had this thought one day, okay, just do it. You can always grow it back and set that date. But honestly, what led up to that was seeing that community of people posting pictures and doing it themselves, going through it and also saying, wow, I should have done this a long time ago. This is great. And for whatever change you're looking to make, there is a community out there for you. You just got to make sure it's positively oriented and people are going for the right directions. For instance, I've been to the anti-work. Maybe you've heard of the anti-work subreddit. I have to say I'm not a fan. Parts of anti-work are going for the right thing, but there are a lot of people that I see that just don't want to work or contribute value to society through having a job of some kind. That's not how society works. You're not going to sit around and not work. Society should serve you and give you stuff. Now, I'm not saying that there aren't things that are unfair in society. There absolutely are and things that need to be changed. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is some people on there think that everything should be fair and equitable by doing no work. Well, it's not not only how society works, that's not how life works. That's not how the animal kingdom works, okay? That's, that's not natural. The point being, make sure you are in a place that is positively supporting. I'm not talking at a place that's positive like Pollyanna, like sometimes I see in these, a lot of times I see in these law of attraction communities where people are like, you could think anything and it'll just happen. Absolutely not how it works in my experience. You know, you've gotta be real to some level, although there's a lot of, a lot of flux between what's real, what's not, another conversation for another video. But overall, it needs to be a positive support and one that is about self-empowerment and you being responsible for your life and making the changes because that's the only way you're actually gonna get those changes. This isn't some moral thing. Like you need to be responsible and you need to be making your own decisions and responsible for your results. It's not moral. It's actually how it works functionally to get those results. It doesn't work any other way. And I've seen it over when I've gotten things handed to me or people, and when people have gotten things handed to them and they're entitled and, and don't take any responsibility, whatever that thing that gets given to them as a gift quickly goes away. Happens all the time with careers, with money, with relationships, with health. It's so true. It's just so true in my experience after many years of living my life, helping other people, coaching other people, having friends, helping friends and family go through situations on a personal level, whatever, them helping me. It's just true. And if there's even an ounce of what I'm saying that you hear is truth, you know what I'm talking about. So really why I did it was a buildup to yes, this gut feeling it was time, but being in that community, that supportive community, I think really led to it being at the moment that it came where I, I ended up going baldy. Here's something like for years, I had thought about this moment coming, all the worry and stuff that we future project, which is what anxiety is, whatever that thing is, it's never like what we think it is. Or let's say it's extremely rare in my experience. If I was getting a new job or moving to a new place, any kind of big life event or starting to date a new person or breaking up with a person and what's life gonna be like. Our mind is so good at survival slash self-protection that it's trying to like show us the worst case possible scenario but if we learn to let that go and not be controlled by that which is a lot of what I talk about in this channel and have helped a lot of clients with we're wasting so much time and energy on that and creating literal mental and emotional suffering right for ourselves it's very common right this is the human condition this is why I love things like psychology for this and uh, mindfulness and certain forms of spirituality which I'm a huge fan of that have helped me with managing my mind and my emotions every day I use them right the tools and techniques things I've learned and that I've helped others with. The bottom line is any big change, it's never, let's say this, never what we think it is. I'm not gonna say it's better or worse or that give you the stock advice, make the change because it's not what you think it is and it's always better. No, I'm not saying that. Although in my experience, on the whole, it has been less of a big deal than I thought it would be. And the things in life that hit us on a negative side, quote unquote negative side, getting fired, death of a loved one, a friend or family member, bill coming out of nowhere or a lawsuit or who knows what, the tendency is to view these events as negative, but there's no truth in an event inherently actually being positive or negative. It's all how we ultimately view it. And this is basically fact, psychologically, spiritually, if we want to go that way. If you've ever heard of stories of people that say they worked a really great job at some company and they got paid a lot of money, then they got laid off or they got fired. There are plenty of people that say that experience was one of the best things because it launched me into a new era of my life. It made me realize, oh, I don't want to do this anymore, or I got a better job, or I went and moved to another country, or then I met my significant other. Absolutely true. Now, there are people that would do that. It would hit them hard and they couldn't let go of it for years, but that's a function of how their belief system and mind works 
not of just who that person is. You know, I, big events I had like my mother getting a terminal illness and then eventually passing away from that, which caused me to move back to Colorado, from New York City. It's a huge turning point in my life. I wouldn't have started this YouTube channel and coaching if that hadn't happened, right? Now there's been a lot of trials and tribulations over this past decade and more lessons to share on that in upcoming videos for sure. But fundamentally that event isn't positive or negative. It's what I've learned and made of that. And that goes for anybody truly. And I've had my own coaches and mentors and therapists help me with this too and certainly helped others. It's not just me being some kind of guru teacher coachy guy here it's it's me having experienced and gone through it right and my my whole intent of this channel is to really help coach mentor teach whatever through stuff that I've lived and learned and applied me personally not just help clients with right and that's why I'm so huge on confidence social skills those are things that I had to really work on in order to improve them to where people don't fundamentally know that I'm an introvert but they'd be like no way you're so social, you could talk to people. Dude, the work I put into this stuff, seriously. And all of you here that might be struggling with shyness, social anxiety, lack of self-confidence, all have certain innate talents or characteristics that can be brought out and more expressive, right? Channel used to be social expression. I still have my social expression website for the you know shy, socially anxious, even though I'm broadening this channel because I just am inspired to bring more types of content. I even hope to bring stuff about how to manage your money and financial independence better as I work on that myself. Not even close to that yet, but different topics, right? Business skills. Um, whatever, you know, business, career, work, blah, blah, blah. I'm actually going to be making some content that people want to help advance their careers more. Yes, and a lot of it through soft skills, but even more than just communication and social skills, other soft skills too, problem solving, ways to think, ways that I've learned to develop and some, some where I realized, oh my God, this is an innate talent, right? Anyways, wanted to do this video because uh, I've wanted to launch some more videos and do some more content, but I'm like, I probably need to do this first because all of a sudden, here I am dude with hair, dude with no hair. And just like, you know, going on and on without mentioning it, people that have been around here for months and years. Hope this video helped in some way. Drop a comment below. Please like if you like the video. If you got any value, feel free to share with others. Certainly would love to hear from you and I will respond to your comments. And until next video, we're complete. Bye-bye.